How are we gonna make this better? For some reason, we made a gremlin piece. As far as I know, my business is being known as Gremlin, <laughs> gremlin all around the world. You got Kodak, you got the producer, you got the model maker, you got the enameler, you got the casting company, you got the marketing, you got the girl that puts the ads up, you got Instagram, you got Mark Zuckerberg, you got Miami, you got Liv, you got HK Billy, you got his boy, you got Twin Dollars. Not enough. You learn about this the money. I'm worried about people getting fucking hurt. I'm not from Florida. I'm from, I'm from New York. On stage with Kodak Black. You got your story and your album and your shit. But no one gave a f about my money, bro. I don't know where I just got a call. Are you upset because you're fing with me? Walking out. Rivaro, Rivaro, Shwoopity Boopity. Ha ha ha, that's why Kodak is making millions of dollars in your piece. Hand painted 14 karat. You want something special to your piece? What are the chances that a customer would order a gremlin pendant with an initial on it, with dread at the same time, or some fans sent it over? that saw that piece and Kodak wanted it. I didn't get duped by a label or another artist talking about you, bro, or you look. Everyone's acting like the worst thing in the fucking world happened. That's what the jewelry business is all about, sourcing materials, production. There's so many tire kickers and low lives in this business and in this world. That's really what this show is about. If I could pull this business off or not. And you're gonna see how I do it if I do. I hide nothing. I don't need to hide anything. I know how to use the truth as a weapon. This is not the reality that's scripted reality. This is indeed reality. Here, here's what's going on. I mean, I'll tell you why, because when you have somebody from the hood and from the culture designing a piece, they hit the mark way better than, uh, you know, some ideas that I come up with from Azerbaijan. Uh, but, I, but, you know, people want, uh, you know, this, and Kodak saw that and it worked perfect for him. And it just, the coincidence of Kodak's name being Bill with the B on the top, and him coming up with a song called Super Gremlin. And this piece being around, that is some coincidence, man. I mean, you think about that. Out of all the times that a customer would have made a Gremlin piece with, all, with one of the letters of the alphabet on, the, on its forehead, it was this time when he comes out with a song Super Gremlin. And now Super Gremlin, I mean, you know, your credits to what we're doing is now number six on the billboard. Blocking. I'm not gonna sing that. I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not from Florida. I'm from, I'm from New York. I'm not from Florida though. We got it right here. I just got off the phone with Kodak. When his song came out for Super Gremlin, for some reason we made a Gremlin piece. So I was like, I need a video of it. I sent it over to his manager. Sorry, not his manager, his producer. And I was like, yo, show us a Kodak. We made this shit. It's pretty much gonna go pretty good with the song and everything. I don't know where, I just got a call. And we'll do two-tone, we'll do yellow and rose. So yeah, it goes off, that, yeah. so it goes off. <laughs> this one right here? Yeah. This one's a yellow. If you could do, do the up close on these two, the settings is different. Yeah, with so this one, you could show more of the, the stone. This is a four prong. I like this one better. This is definitely more of like the rock star look. This one right here. So this one has three prong setting, and this one has the traditional four prong. You see the stones more with this one. So let's say if we were to go with the bigger stones, let's stick with the three prongs. See, the stones are hitting two with the pendant. Send us some stuff, too. Bet, say less. I got you. All right, thanks, thumbs up. Of course, anytime. All right, boy. All right, bro. Have a good one, boys. And he's like, yo, I want to see that piece. Thankfully, we had it in display. So I showed it to him. He's like, yo, that's fire. What type of chain would it go with? I was like, let's do a tennis chain with it. So we did the tennis chain. And so he's like, I want 25 pointers. So now we're working on finding the tennis chain for him and getting him his super gremlin pendant. So it's like red sapphires. But once the lights are off, the gremlin comes out. Super gremlin piece for the biggest super gremlin. Top of the year, you know, big moves, 2022. <laughs> What are the chances that a customer would order a gremlin pendant with an initial on it, with dreads, 
and then at the same time he'd leave a deposit and that would uh, that pendant would be completed even though it shouldn't be completed just off a deposit anyway and it would be completed as a courtesy to that customer at the same time a rapper that I DM'd in 2018 tell me where and when and I'm gonna be there I wrote him in 2018 okay so that's 2018 he sent them this message and I don't, you know when you reach out to a celebrity like Kodak Black or whoever or you know, a celebrity a rapper or whatever you want to do you're doing business with somebody you got to know what you're talking about because you cannot waste people's time that's the commodity here and you can see the date, the time, everything. Don't waste people's time. Don't waste their time, don't waste their money, don't waste their energy, because life is time. Some people are gonna watch this video for the celebrity or the this or the that. I'm not here for that. I'm here for business. I want you to understand business. You got Kodak, you got the producer, you got the model maker, you got the enameler, you got the casting company, you got the marketing, you got the girl that puts the ads up, you got Instagram, you got Mark Zuckerberg, you got Miami, you got Liv, you got HK oh. Billy, you got his boy, you got Twin Dollars, bro, you got Humza, you got Derek the producer. And everybody, and I have to make sure that not a single person is left out and is dissatisfied from A to Z and that's like playing the piano how do you play the piano you got to know which button to press when you can't just go and do what looks like pressing buttons and that is what I try to do people in business they yap they talk they follow follow the horoscope they hope they dream they do this they do that but they don't get there because they're full of shit not me because i wrote that message in 2018 and i forgot about it and i saw it last night now i wrote that message in 2018 so what are the chances in 2021 in august somebody puts a deposit on a custom that is a gremlin with a b a certain way this big glows in the dark with the teeth kind of upset right now so usually it prints perfectly here right and today I see that there is you see this line right here that means it messed up all of this too and uh, it's really f***ing up my day right now honestly I'm gonna call the maintenance guy today because I've actually never had it be this bad I'm uh up, dude this is so f***ed up this is just, I don't know if, if anyone heard about this microchip shortage that's happening all over America with like so much stuff, cars, etc., whatever, and like this industry also extremely affected right now. So I'm just, I'm just hoping they figure that out soon because this is really ridiculous, honestly. I have to redo all of this. It all takes time. This took 15 hours. For what? For what? You know? Crazy Custom just came out, hand painted, beautiful work here. We used color enamel on this one, 14 karat, very gold heavy, amazing piece here. But there's a little surprise on this one. Put the black light on and does this magic. Hanging out in the restaurant, in the clubs. Want some life to your piece, we can make it happen. Then all of a sudden, some way, somehow, I don't know if it was Kodak himself or his producer, 
or some fans sent it over that saw that piece and Kodak wanted it. This was perfectly made for him, B for Bill. I didn't even know that until he came to me saying, oh, I want it just like this. I wanted to make it kind of bigger, but whatever the client wants. This is gonna go straight to Kodak. We're gonna make this, add six more links onto this, make this a 24 inch. It's gonna have 51 carats of full VS1 diamonds. He wants the best of the best, so we're gonna give him the best. Let the wire come through, and we're putting this into production ASAP. I think 60K is good for the price that we're charging him for it. And just so happened that Kodak's name is Bill. The customer's name is Bill. They both like gremlins. He did the gremlin. I paid for the gremlin. He put a deposit on the gremlin. He designed the gremlin. He wanted the gremlin, but he had a song called Super Gremlin. But I sent a message in 2018, but he deposited in, in August, but he didn't pick it up already in, in, in January. He said he was gonna come in December, but Kodak was performing in January. We're gonna gift this to him. He doesn't know that yet. So I just talked to his producer, let him know, hey, listen, we're gonna give this, gift this to him. We're gonna head out to Miami. He's like, pull up, fly out here, we got you. But I was going to Miami that same weekend. What are the chances of that happening? Psychologically, physically, and mentally, I'm completely exhausted. Number two, we're in Miami. Number three, we have a lot of work for. We gotta go see Erica. Number five, Deanna. Number six, Safari. Number seven, whatever other person I forgot about. Number eight, Varbaro. Number one, Varbaro started doing the social media little beef. We went into an all out, full scale nuclear war. Motherfucker, I don't need to pull to make money. You do! Down, badim, mishmoom, bushmoopity, boopity. What's up with that? That, that Rolex is dope right here. That yeah, yeah, you know. We had the, the blue one, the green one. So the address of this place, that, yeah, they, they sell them quick, huh? Yeah. So this is an interesting timepiece that caught my eye. What do you think of this? Yeah, that's not for you, right? You want to wear something like this? You need some little, obviously, little pepper. But it's flashy. It's, it's too extra for you. How much is a timepiece like this, my brother? Something like 22,000. 22,000. Uh, these are uh, rubies in here? Yeah. Are they, uh, I guess, are they synthetic rubies or? There's some, I mean, the round ones yeah. are not. The, um, yeah, I mean it's hard to get all these rubies to match in yeah, colors. Nothing like, wrong with that. But this is a um, uh, date just that's been modified, but it's a, a, a fantastic timepiece, real flashy, you know. That's not too bad. Yeah. All right, the tech for leaves. Isn't it pretty? This joint is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Now, is this dial original or no? No. no. All right, so not this is definitely one. the look right here. Look very buff. But how much for this piece right here? What do you got, linen? If, if we were to sell it, 65. Why wouldn't you sell it? We're yeah. trying not to you know, sell it really nice right now. Just to replace it. Or it's impossible, it. right? So 65,000 if we were to sell it. But right now, you know, it is a, it's a wild scene. And this protects belief, you're not really even selling it, right? I mean, you know, 350 would be a nice price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 350 a pop, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so some factory pieces, very sought out uh, uh, timepiece right here. But everyone's holding on to their pieces right now. And what's the story with this Richard right here? Um, 11, you know, 
these these ones are, you know been crazy as far as since the pandemic. Yeah. You know, they've just been skyrocketing. How much? Three fifty would be a good price. So three fifty, three fifty. Ah, this, this is something you like, right? The AP she likes. With a white band, right? It's a little bit big for your wrist. Yeah, yeah. it's too big for me, but it's How much, uh, how much is this guy? It really depends on the neck. I mean, right now, I would say close to 55, 55, 60, really depends on the neck. This is a nice picture piece right here. Yeah. Is this, uh, my pops? Your pops, bro. That's a beautiful piece. That's an incredible picture pendant. All right, let me see. Did I worry about that monster Cuban? Yeah. This sold. Sold? Yeah. Cuban. All right. How do how much is that? How much for this guy? Uh, like Close to eighty. eighty. What's that? Do I like already? Close to eighty grand, right? Okay. Can we throw this on you? See how it looks. Can you model it for us. Go for it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Get paid off. This is why I really came here, right here. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you got these customs. <laughs> right, yeah, sorry about that. Yes. Oh yes, my friend. How much for a pop and piece like this, or you don't want to say? About eighteen twenty thousand. Eighteen twenty thousand. You know, of our it has the emerald cuts. They didn't have the emerald cuts. But it was it, it, ten, twelve. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, I like to travel around, see how people run in their jewelry business. You're doing your thing. I'm uh, making things happen. And there's uh, some time pieces that are on deposit over here. This is actually Ross's. I'm just doing a... Uh, oh, all right. Oh, you, know, you don't mind if I put them yeah, off for just a second, you know what I'm saying? Before I get my next chicken wing. You know what I'm saying, baby? All right, this is a dope piece. Who's the SL piece for? Um, Customer, I mean, it's not even... She's being paid off. Yeah. And had deposits, you know, half these people. You know, these are uh, nice. Olive green yeah, yeah, yeah. You love your olive greens, yeah, I yeah, see, yeah. right? You've been collecting these. You can get them at really good pricing. And yeah, you're holding them down. Mm -hmm. How long ago did you did you jump on these? Um, a year ago to six months ago. Yeah. Just, you know. And the prices are still moving every day. It's, yeah, it's yeah. impossible yeah. to check. Yeah. People, right people are starting to people are starting to dump their money in the, in, in the watches. And it's uh, scary for the watch market. Whoever's in is good. Yep. Whoever's trying to get in is is scary. Uh, you got some NFT going on over there? So those are these Apple Watch pendants that I have like a patent on. Let me show you. Yeah. Oh, you got a patent on them, huh? So this I launched in 2016. It's pretty much an Apple Watch mm -hmm. turned into a pendant. Mm -hmm. I don't know how the idea came to fruition, but in 2016 we launched it. We put them on the Amazon. So they're they're doing well. Played. They did really well. You know, the first few years we had the futures, the low Yachty's, Kodak. You mm -hmm. know, took advantage of where you know the social media was at the time. Mm -hmm. And now they just you know sell on a steady pace. I don't really advertise it too much, but it's more like on the Walmart, on the Amazon, you know, all those. Uh, yeah, Amazon it's a move. Platforms. You yeah, made a yeah. move. You know what I'm saying? You got the product to the marketplace. Mm -hmm. It's a timepiece, can we see it in real life or is this so empty cases? It's, it's just the cases, so pretty much what you would do is... Put an Apple Watch in there. Yeah, you open it, take the Apple Watches out, and it's meant to be worn like that, you know? Right. So you can do an engraving, whatever the case uh, okay. is. okay. But now people could be rocking them with NFTs though. Yeah, like yeah, put their NFTs what we're in the right now. And whatever the f it is, I'm mm -hmm. not a big fan of NFTs. Because, you know, everyone's jumping in. It's, it's just like, it's just like our parents weren't big fans of the internet. Yeah. Right. I suppose so, but you know, the internet was to get real goods moving back and forth. People right now are trying to sell JPEGs for and trying to rip people off but as I much think as they that's can. That's just like the introduction to what it really is. Right. You know, what it is is like the um, what is it? Whatever the coding. I mean, I don't. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah, I yeah. bought one NFT just to like learn about it. You know what I mean? What people want to do? Which NFT did you buy? It was uh, Magic Monkey. Mm. Magic Monkey. How much was that? Four thousand. You spent four thousand on a magic monkey. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's at six. I can tell it for right now. Right. And I only bought it because that's like the best way I can learn. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of get my feet wet in it. People wanna uh, in this generation wanna make something from nothing. eBay was not making something from nothing. NFTs is. You know what I'm saying? You're making everybody can make a picture. Everybody can make a JPEG. It's four thousand. It's six thousand. Then it's this. Then it's that. But 
We'll see. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure really what it is. Me neither. I'm really I'm skeptical. I'm trying to figure it out, but I know that that is, you know. Yeah, it's a lot of hype behind it, and everybody wants a fast ride. You know what I'm saying? A lot of celebrities are jumping in, and they're pumping, and they're dumping, and it's board yachts, and board apes, and fucking sleepy apes, and whatever the fuck they're doing. Uh, but uh, to me, it's something very suspicious about uh, selling uh, something that uh, doesn't cost anything to produce for a hell of a lot of money and the long-term prospect of that you know what i'm saying but we'll see you know but anyway we're here mission accomplished they wanted to say hello and i did and um, uh, i hope uh, you know what i'm saying this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship amen secret mission we're going to James Bond mode that's right James Bond and we do have one more secret mission and we can pull it off it's more money it's more power it's more war now we got a surprise guest Kodak Black would you believe it I mean I am a huge fan of him When I got up on stage and put the piece on him, it was a, uh, it was surreal. On stage with Kodak Black. Scorsese. Yes, yeah, just alcohol. There's so much debris that flies around in here. There's like all these little areas that I can't get into, and anytime a maintenance guy comes, he likes to, you know, take it all out, and then I clean it, and it just takes forever, and there's just so much debris. It gets dirty. I have to clean it every single time something hurts. Yes, every time I print, I have to clean. Um, so you said you said very large expense. Yeah, so I was like, back in the day, I'm doing pickle Banging out fucking music, and there's a hit every other track. Like, back in the day, I'm doing this, I'm doing And then, you know, you gotta hear the track to understand what that. But it was, it, it's so many tracks of his that he's got a big library of music that I was listening to, and I had no idea that I would sit here and come up on stage in the club in Miami to put a piece around his neck for this track Super Gremlin and then all the aftermath after that which I'm still dealing with over here man <laughs> Oh, 
resolve the situation in a fair and normal way. Tell me what it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, to me, if I knew uh, who the piece belonged to and, and, and uh, you know, your attachment to it, I wouldn't have uh, uh, gave it away, or I would have thought about it twice. I had no idea what was going on. All I knew was I had a piece laying around, somebody wanted it, I'm like, all right, cool. That's all I knew. The plan was for me to come in here with my camera crew, right. pick up my chain yeah. this week, and I had a video drop, a video shoot next week right. for our for all shit. For our clothing line, for our brand, right. with my gremlin face on that shit that you call in the gremlin, it's called Little Billy. Little Billy. So listen, I'm willing to stand behind that and say it's the Little Billy piece. And uh, you know, I fucked up. I'm not gonna lie to anybody. I'm not gonna tell any stories. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling the truth. The piece was sitting around, bro. I was sitting around for a while. I didn't know what was going on. I saw somebody wanted it, and I got rid of it. I did my job. I did not get paid for it when I made that piece for my client that I initially made it for. Then, when I did business with Kodak Black, I got paid for it, but then my client that did not pay me, the shoe was reversed. Then he felt like he didn't get paid for it. You're telling people that you pay for everything. I did pay for, for everything, months. bro. I paid so for all the people wait. here to make it. Yeah. You paid. Yeah. I didn't. I well, so You put the the, okay. the five hundred for the graphic uh, for the three D right. model. Now that's the start. I right? never said I. Yeah, that's true. So anything after that? Yes. Is irrelevant. You know that, <laughs> to right? To you? No, 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 no. Did what you did? not realize that he did something he wasn't supposed to do? What did you? What did he do? He, he made the piece, piece before. The piece before. shouldn't have been made. The piece was deposit. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. A whole three months went by before that. Before that two week, I'm gonna see you in two. It went by, bro. I showed you shit yesterday. And, and it so for here. three months, you made my shit. I was waiting. I actually sent me videos and, and anything of the making of it. You sent me pictures, right? And then a month later, I said, I'm going to come see you in two weeks. That was three months, bro. Yeah, but you knew the piece was ready. You love it. What do you mean? That's no... Uh, in any case, we're not you going to... You made it in August. You told, me, you told me that the piece was ready November 18th. I told you... I, you saying Wait, no? I posted it on October 18th. Ready. Bro, in, 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 listen, in, in any case, back and forth, back and forth, you guys, are, we're not getting anywhere. I want to come in with a fair resolution. Very strangely, and we don't really know what the f the deal is at this point. But we're going to find out. Real soon. I saw it, and I saw it for a while, and I saw it chilling, but you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what happened. I had pieces like that. There's a bunch of pieces that are custom pieces that sit around for a while and go nowhere. And to be honest, I got a lot of money stuck in those customs. People start a project, they put a deposit, we finish it, it never goes anywhere. So I sat here and I cashed in on it as far as I knew. I want to make it a better, a better situation for the both of us. Where you can clear your name because trust me, it's got a fucking whole hack. I don't think I don't think you understand how big the hack community is. Right. They all looking at you like a snake right now. Right. I didn't do it at a grimy way. I wasn't sitting there snaking you. I'm like, no. like I was making. I'm not personally mad. It's not your fault. Yeah. What, what, what fixes it for you though? It's my joint. This is my business. Right. Right. I don't made it. 500k independently. No help. Nobody. Just me alone off my business. Right. You understand? That's how much my sh brings in. Right. So what, how are we gonna make this better? Because as far as I know, my business is being known as this. Just super gremlin all around the world. I didn't. I doubted this whole transaction, bro. I doubted it because I thought, you know, for this to really actually go down is a miracle. But it went down, and it got done. And Kodak was, uh, you know what I'm saying, he was real happy. And I handled the shit on stage real smooth, real fast, didn't make it about me. Of course. I don't care about that fame shit, bro. I got, I, got one of the, hold on, I got one of the most limited hats in the world from a store called Hat Club. Pretty sure you know about Hat Club. Right. There is no, no fame, nothing that I needed from that, bro. I didn't need anything like that. That was crazy. And then your, the video you posted, it's kind of like you shitting on me because right. people was shitting on me right after you posted that. Of course, but the video you put out 
You had people looking at me crazy, bro. Me. Well, I'd rather come out with a video holding five pieces saying, listen, I fucked up. This is, you, you designed this piece, it's iconic. It's legendary. The NFT is out. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? You came up with a dope design. All credit I'm to him. I'm glad you know it's an NFT out of this shit. I'm glad you do know. That's my NFT. I'm yeah. glad you know. I, did, I mean, you told me. You're the one who told yeah. me something about an NFT. Yeah. I mean, that, that's going to be uh, fantastic for that. <laughs> who do you think I am? I don't, well, I'm giving you some ideas, bro. And I think, and I'm not sitting here and trying to think about this, bro. Hey, yo, what and that? What you think about this, bro? Yo. Honestly, not even being biased, cause that's my boss. Mm -hmm. Bro, tracks his name on something, bro, will sell you a thousand things in a week, bro. I know how you feel, cause it's the whole reputation behind it, and I work hard to build it. But this is an opportunity, you know, as it starts coming out. Like all our work is this thing, out, like bro. we put in time and thought about all yeah. this shit, how to put this shit together, how to present him and promote him, yeah. and that shit just took him, like, just pulled the rug. Nigga, I had to trademark like, this. Shit. Because niggas were stealing my pen. Like, That's ridiculous and coincidental. You understand? It's, it's trade dope. It's a LLC dope. It's a business, dope. Bro. Everybody it's wants. Everybody wants that piece, bro. It's a dope fucking piece. It's a dope piece, and right? And now it's worldwide. Mental. Easy academics. It's biscuit. Shave room. Kodak Black receives a complex. A, a, a complex. A new chain. Like the super grilling chain from Trax NYC's owner Max. I'm gonna ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe because we're gonna be giving out gems on this program and we want you to catch them. And they might be physical gems or they might be mental gems, but they're gonna enrich you one way or another. Look at the definition of custom, right? It's supposed to be a unique piece. Yes. Only for right. a special occasion or person. Right. I was that person. Yes. That five hundred dollars that you look at as minuscule right. right. was able to bring that piece right. to your store, True. to life. Yes. For all that attention that y'all gained over this weekend, yeah. Kodak's record being uh, twenty six last week to being number six today. Okay. That's all y'all doing. Because when you look up Kodak Black hashtag whatever, yeah. it's him holding the Super Gremlin chain. Right. The fact remains, this man is still walking around with the joint on, and that shit is not. Is it a way that you can fix that situation with, with Kodak? Yeah, like, yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? He's still getting the representation of the chain. Like that's our shit, bro. That's true. For this shit, this, like I, I didn't get duped by a label or another artist. This shit happened by you, bro, a jeweler. A very famous one at that. And that's my big this is my big break, bro. This is this is the most shit I'm 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 seeing. Oh no. Oh. He couldn't pay for a chain at track, so they sold it. It's the most it's the biggest news of my life, bro. Well I gotta that shit is fed up. That shit is definitely f up. Aha, uh -huh, that's why Kodak is making millions of dollars in your piece. Ha ha ha. Well, let me let me let me sorry, let me tell you something. Yeah. I told him to have to sit down with you. Right. He wasn't going to do that. He want to go straight to the... They, his, his lawyer want, don't even talk to you. Yeah. If the, if the so shoe I'm was trying on the to make foot, it... I'm just trying to make it right. I don't want if the to... shoe was on the other foot, I would be thanking him. If he did that to me. I'm like, oh, damn, bro. You have my piece. You gave it that's to your personal feeling, But that's my personal feeling. That's true. Not true I'm not asking him to do that. I'm just saying if the shoe was on the other foot. Sure you're not that's not twisting your Alright, well, listen. Figure out what, what, what works for you. What do you think is fair? I can't figure it out, bro. Right, he didn't even believe that himself. All right, well, listen, Humza, you did a fantastic job trying to navigate this fucking uh, Viper's Pit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of going on. You got to keep these guys on ice, Derek and Kodak. We want to get the new piece made, and then we're going to gift them something else. Uh, we're going to figure out what type of chain that's going to be, and uh, we'll see what kind of arrangements we could make with Kodak on that. There's a lot to talk about, there's a lot to do, like always, bro, like always. But Humza, you did a good job, bro. When I thought, when I saw you, I thought you were a Pakistani viper. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out you're a fucking smart dude, you're a sharp dude, and you, and you do things well, and that's very rare. So I hope we get a chance to do good business. And if you want to do business, uh, you know, with Humza, I had, you know, Kodak Black's doing it, so you might as well do it too. Hit him up.
Hamza Tracks, the Hamza Tracks on IG. And you know, on my end, you know what I'm saying? I could have been nasty about it and I could have gave the guy a hard time. And I feel like I'm giving him a better deal than I should. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving up, a, a, you know, they're not happy. That's what really pisses me off. I'm not happy, they're not happy. We're gonna sweeten the pie a little bit. And uh, you know, as usual, we're gonna keep it moving. He's offering me something for me to be quiet and not go sign the damn paper, bro. Listen, bro, you can sign that paper, bro, that, bro, and then bro. I'm gonna counter sue right away. I don't bro. wanna do that. Because I'm a f animal, dude. Listen, listen. Listen. Listen, listen. Yeah, man, you because you, 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 you think you're gonna do this and that, bro. It's, it's not, not even about that. that. My brother, man, you're telling me about a lawyer and you're gonna sue me, bro. You left a piece of jewelry over here, bro, that went nowhere that I put my money on. I didn't get paid. I enameled it, bro. I did. I paid the polishers. I paid everybody. Nobody paid me. No one gives a f about me and my money, bro. You got your story and your album and your shit, but no one gave a f about my money, bro. And it sat around there, and I had to get my money out, bro. And that's all I did. I ain't tie you up. I ain't do none of that. Shit. I ain't beat the I'm, blood out. You. I ain't do nothing. I Why are you talking to me I like am, that, bro? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You you upset because you. you upset. You bugging out. That's not good, bro. right? Because now you getting me involved. Ten bands are not enough. You worrying about this the fucking enough. money? I'm worried about people getting fucking hurt, man. Right. Like stop. You you make me. All right. Well, let, let like, people like, get hurt then, bro. Why, hey, bro? For something that somebody fucked up. Why somebody else to get hurt for it? Like I don't fucking come you down. You guys are trying to quarter me in. Fucking tell me about your bullshit, dude. It ain't bullshit, nigga. You got somebody looking at like a fucking idiot. Come on, man. Don't do that, bro. Don't talk like. Shit, bro. Can we get to a resolution? Can you, just, can you tell us what you got? I didn't know, but don't to nobody, be bro. speaking like that, bro. Right. But when there's a situation like that, and I got niggas from the high up, right. and me, because this you're shit trying to corner bro. me, bro. It's not about them trying to cut. Corner, they trying to figure out to make it right, man. Right. Well, figure like, out what makes it right, man. Come on, son. You made one offer. Nigga, you my brother at the end of the day. Nigga, if you were somebody else, nigga would have been dealt with a different way, bro. I don't want to go off and it was just going to jump on it. Buy the NFT, guys. HK Billy, he really gave me a fucking hard time. The reason why I'm, I'm saying this story is because I want people that are in HK Billy's position to see what's going on and do business carefully and get the most out of it. Because the worst enemy of HK Billy was HK Billy. We want to learn business here in this episode. And we don't want to sit here and say, it's mine, it's mine. Just get to the fucking money, bro. There's a million gremlins, there's a, you know, the song is gonna, it's, it's a fucking hit song, it's a classic. But we're gonna move on to something else, to somewhere else. Get your money, man. Get it the right way. Do the right business. Shake hands, get your dollar moved. Don't get emotionally attached to something. That's my advice, all right? You know what I'm saying? And now I'm gonna try to get the guy a passive income. I'm not a thief. I'm not here to f him over. I don't need his ideas. I got my own fucking skull. And if uh, somebody puts in the work, I have no problem contributing to that because I'm not looking for a fucking thing to snatch. Because I'm not a gremlin. <laughs> Billy, 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 Billy,